For more on what this verdict means, we turn now to Gabor Rona, the International Legal Director of Human Rights First, an organization that has raised questions about the treatment of detainees. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. My pleasure. What is the significance of the Italian verdict? It's a very ordinary significance. The Italians were merely enforcing their criminal laws against kidnapping, the same as any country should do. The significance for the United States is that the U.S. Justice Department should do the same. It should also be investigating and prosecuting cases of rendition that did not involve judicial process for the detainees. What's going to happen to these CIA agents? Well, unless they set foot in Italy, um, probably nothing is going to happen to them as far as Italian justice is concerned. But uh, this certainly will put a crimp in their travel style, as well it should. And it should also put them on notice that they have committed crimes, that they uh, could very well be investigated and prosecuted in the United States as well. How do you anticipate that the U.S. government is going to react to this verdict? I think it's a very difficult situation for the U.S. government right now, and I would be surprised by anything other than a no comment. Um, what the United States government needs to do first and foremost, though, is to acknowledge that crimes were committed, that they need to be investigated, and when, when and if they do that, there may be some different response. What does the Obama administration believe is an appropriate use of rendition? The, um, what we know so far is that the Obama administration intends to continue to the process of rendition, um, but we are hopeful that it will be not rendition to torture, but rather rendition you to mean criminal trials. Extraordinary rendition is off the table. That's not going to happen. Well, we have. Um, reason to believe that the Obama administration will not be allowing the CIA, will not be allowing any of its operatives to transfer individuals to countries where they may be subjected to torture. But rendition, we are told, will continue to uh, criminal prosecutions in various countries that the individual may be sent to. Should the United States be uh, rendering uh, terror suspects to uh, overseas justice? What's the point of it? The United States shouldn't be rendering anyone anywhere unless it's pursuant to a judicial process in the country in which the person was picked up. Every individual on the planet has a right to be free from arbitrary detention. And if you are uh, denied judicial process at the point of capture, then that's a kidnapping and it shouldn't be done. So what legal architecture should we be using then? In countries that have operating judicial systems, like Italy, it is perfectly reasonable for the United States to make a request of the Italian authorities to arrest somebody who has committed a terrorist crime. And given today's outcome, do you think that we're going to see more prosecutions of American officials overseas? It's really hard to say. There are many other countries in which these kidnappings occurred, many other countries to which suspects were rendered for torture. It's entirely possible that there will be more investigations and prosecutions in other countries. But what really needs to happen is for the, U for the United States to clean its own dirty laundry first. Okay, Gabor Rona, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure.